Some striking new data from state and local researchers tonight on just how effective the COVID-19 vaccine really is. And as KPX5's Andrea Nakano reports, the new numbers may not even tell the whole story. The authors of the study realize a need for more data when it comes to proving the effectiveness of vaccines. The findings are impressive, but they may actually be underestimating the impact on public health. We know that the vaccines work for the individual person, and what our study set out to do is really understand what is the population level, population-wide impact of the COVID-19 vaccine in California. Dr. Nathan Lowe was one of the UCSF researchers who conducted two independent studies looking at the first 10 months of vaccinations. It compared those that were vaccinated with those under 12 who weren't eligible for the shot. The study found roughly one and a half million cases were prevented, along with 72,000 hospitalizations and 19,000 deaths. The impact of the vaccinations are almost surely even much larger than we estimate. And that's for two reasons. The first is that we don't look at the impact from reduced transmission, which is quite large. But the second is we only look at the first 10 months of vaccination. While the findings may be an underestimation of the impacts, many in healthcare say it validates the need to get vaccinated. UCSF infectious disease specialist Dr. Peter Chin Hong hopes the data and development of new vaccines encourage the unvaccinated to reconsider. Unfortunately, I think there are probably going to be about 10 to 15 percent of Americans who are not going to get vaccinated no matter what. But I'm still holding out hope. And the reason why I'm holding out hope is because there are new technologies and vaccines that might uh, address some of that group's concerns. Monday night, an equity town hall was held in support of a mask mandate on public transit in the Bay Area. BART Board President Rebecca Salzman writing this letter to public health officers to reinstate the mandate. Andrea Nakano, KPIX 5.